So I thought I'd do a little update. As you can see, the kitchen is pretty much the same. Um, countertops I need to put in. And uh, I've kind of progressed along. I put up all the strapping. Actually, my daughter put the insulation up. She did a great job, actually. I found it crazy. And uh, I've boxed in the furnace from the other side. I've got sheetrock behind it, which is a, certainly a good thing because I didn't have that. And here, my daughter's fiance put down the uh, put down some new subfloor over the flooring. That back room has has got us some work to do, but I, I'm not there yet. So back here, calling it the ensuite, um, did some plumbing work, brought it all up so I could have uh, the wash machine hook up here, two inch pipe. You know, it's funny because they had two inch pipe and then they reduced an inch and a half for the tub and the sinks, which was just interesting. Um, inch and a quarter for the sinks. Um, so I've built this base and uh, this is for a walk-in shower. It's got to accommodate the fact that I can't get down onto the floor and uh, the uh, vent pipe here I had to move over uh, about five inches because it was a four and a half foot tub. The interesting thing is when I cut the top it had a piece of steel pipe inside the vent pipe. Probably when it was a mobile home, so it wouldn't snap off on trips. But uh, I'm going to start working on that part. Got the plumbing brought around. And I've got the, uh, the new well tank. And no comments on the fact that it looks like Stevie Wonder is the one who laid out the pipe. So new well tank is in here. Turned on the well uh, pump and the water just dribbles out. So I think for, for, for sitting for two years this was a problem. Uh, dryer it's going to go in the corner. Hot water heater is over here. And uh, I still got to do the ceiling. I can't seem to get anybody to help me with ceiling so I'm probably going to have to come up with something clever. So this is something I got off of Amazon. This cart it was like $30 or something. Uh, and it's nice because I can put all my tools on it. I can roll it around and uh, I can work on stuff and whatever my project is. The bins that I got actually got big lots for like three bucks a piece. Put all my doodads in it. I actually originally got it for this, so I could put my drywall compound on there and uh, wheel it around with me as I'm doing the drywall. I also like to put paint pans on there and stuff. Bathroom. I've got this floor down. It's supposed to be everywhere. It's the box. You can read upside down. It goes down. It's just like a floating floor. Three tiles a piece. And they have like this glue strip on it that you just press together like a contact strip. And uh, boxed in the plumbing. So I have to continue my taping and uh, get all that done so I can paint and uh, finish off that room and get the toilet back in place. So it's coming along. It's, uh, we've got uh, summer now. We've got, uh, there's a lilac bush, one lilac bush, and I got a crab apple tree. And uh, those look like some kind of a raspberry bush. It'll be interesting to see what I have back there. It's not really my project this year. Next year, there's some nice purple flowers. We've got a lot of those. This ground cover here, this kind of grows everywhere but uh, waiting for the wall guy to come I'm probably gonna need a pump but it's coming along I got a buddy that's an electrician he did this 
for me. He, uh, a little light. This is the main panel, two and a half panel, and a big Bertha there. Although this one's a big Bertha too. Uh, panel was actually cheaper on Amazon than it was the smaller panels, and I only really needed a handful of circuits. So this is the generator slash off-grid panel um, transfer switch so that I could take it off-grid if I need to run a generator up here in the hill towns of the Berkshires you're most likely going to have power loss. So I can safely take it off the grid, run a generator or run an inverter. And uh, so all the 110 circuits, not all of them, uh, the water pump is on it. And then a bunch of circuits that run around the house, but not all of them. Some of them for the existing system I left. So, you know, that's the pump uh, wire that uh, I moved over. And I'm going to probably, uh, we'll see. We, I have options there. So, uh, it's coming along, you know. It's nice to get that mess straightened out and it's all progress good progress a lot of taping though I'm going to be taping and taping and taping sanding and sanding and sanding I mean, you know the old days years and years and years 50 years ago they put drywall up they would put pieces of lattice along the seams so they wouldn't have to tape them and you know what I think it's a darn good idea. <laughs> I mean, this bucket of mud is almost good $25, you know? And I have three of them here. By the time I'm probably needing a third, a fourth one. So, it is interesting. Ta-ta for now.